Atheism is very fashionable, and in the Christian and Jewish world, well, the worst that will happen to you is a, a book contract and a, a TV show. Not so in Islam. Qasem El Ghazali is a Moroccan a blogger now living in Switzerland, from where he joins us uh, by Skype. Welcome to you, sir. It's my pleasure. Now, you're, you're, you, you were born and raised Muslim, but you are now uh, an atheist? Uh, traditionally, yes. I was born as a Muslim, raised in a Muslim family, and uh, studying the traditional uh, heritage of Islam, Quran, Sunnah, and so on. So, yeah, I was born as a Muslim. All right. Now, you, you no longer believe, which it should be your absolute right to believe or not to believe, but as a blogger, you've written about this. How ha has the Islamic world reacted to your atheism? Actually, uh, it's, it's too, it's too uh, radical to be an atheist. Even the ones who aren't atheists, the ones who are believers, like Christians, or they believe at least in something, they are persecuted, they are threatened badly. So when I come to say that I'm an atheist, I don't believe in your gods. So, uh, of course, uh, the reaction of the people is, is, is really bad. And they have tons of verses in their, uh, what they believe in their holy books of uh, like uh, calling of violence against what they call the infidels. Mm -hmm. So uh, actually it's apostate law and Sharia law and the traditions and the understanding of how they understand the religious text. So make, make makes it really horrible. Yeah. So have, have you been threatened? Yes, uh, I have been threatened and I still receive the threats even here in Switzerland and so Muslims send you messages saying Muslims are everywhere so you aren't, in, you aren't safe there. Mm. But uh, this, these threats, they, so they came to me as a honor because if I am threatened because uh, of my support to human rights or my support for freedom, so uh, I shouldn't really uh, be mad about them. So it's, uh, it's, 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 it's something psychologically for me to be threatened by Muslims. It's not like to be threatened by someone who's, uh, uh, who's respecting the, 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 the human beings and respecting the human values. Right. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to tell people exactly where you are, but fairly close to you is, is a border with France and there are many Muslims in France we've just seen who are prepared to commit acts of, of gross violence. Are, are you at all concerned because you, people know you from your blog that you will not be just attacked on the street one day? Just uh, just few uh, few hours ago before I came to this show I had this, this discussion with my friends we were, we were uh, uh, having uh, some food and they asked me, Kassem, uh, you, do you really still have that fear that you had before from the Islamists? But uh, my answer was, it's, it's psychologically. I have the fear, but I can't really uh, submit. I can't really stop what I'm doing. Because uh, the cause I have, it's not only for me. It's for uh, thousands of young people in, who are living in the Islamist world and their conditions of life and their conditions of security is much, much, much better than what I have here. So at least I believe that I should uh, uh, for, uh, get, the, while I'm getting the opportunity to be here and to be safe between brackets, so, so it's okay. But yes, it's still the death threats and the radical Muslims and radical Islamist groups in Europe, uh, they are actually much and more dangerous uh, compared to certain ones we have in, 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 in our country, so it's still dangerous. Mm. Well, let's talk about this, because in, in the West, Christopher Hitchens, who I'm sure you, you, you read, if not knew, yes. when Christopher Hitchens died, it became almost religious, in fact. It, it was as though this, this great godlike figure had passed away. I mean, I liked Chris and all that, but I thought it was, it was rather over the top. But what I'm saying is, he was celebrated as a great man. Uh, you can be an atheist in the West, and, and you'll be totally safe. You'll probably be revered if anything. In the Islamic world, we're told that people are so orthodox, they're so active in their faith, there must be a huge number of young Muslims in the Islamic world, in the Islamic diaspora in Europe and North America, who are atheists, but they're frightened of saying this in public. Do you hear from these people? Uh, sorry, what, what, what's, what's do, the last question? Do you, do, you, do you hear from young Muslims who are atheists, but they're too frightened to say it? Do they contact you? 
Yes, I'm receiving even messages from uh, young atheists in Saudi Arabia, uh, in Iran, uh, in, uh, in, uh, even in Afghanistan, from Pakistan. And the, all the time the comments came to my Arabic blogs and saying uh, we, we salute you, that you are, you are speaking um, for us, you are letting our voices heard because our problem actually is even those human rights organizations like the UN, like even the, like Human Rights Watch, Amnesty, uh, actually they, they don't care about the, 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 the issue of apostasy, the issue uh, of uh, Sharia law and those who are persecuted because of, 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 of these laws. Recently, two, uh, two young atheists Man, one of them is in jail, sentenced with uh, seven and a half year, years, and another one is in the run right now in, 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 in Greece. So, but the, the attention of the media and the attention of the human rights organization when it came to Islam and when it came to, uh, to, be, uh, to shed some light on these issues, mm. they, just, uh, they just remain silent. And uh, so I have a message. I have a message to, to all of these human rights organizations that the, uh, the highest percentage of violation of human rights in our countries, it's because of Islam and because of Sharia law. Okay. Women are persecuted because right. of this law. Homosexuals also. Right. Uh, the the, the upper states also. Forgive, 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 me, forgive me to interrupt you, sir. We're, we're about to lose the link here. But just give out the website address, please. Uh, which which website? The, the, for your blog. How, how do people go to the, your blog if they want to? Atheistica.com. Atheistica.com. Uh, this is my English blog, and actually articles there are translated by people uh, who love uh, my Arabic uh, version. Right. That they translated to uh, to the, to English or even to German. Okay. So um, that's the, the 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 English side, but I have also. Uh, pages on Facebook and uh, right. um, besides my Arabic blog, which is okay. reached recently right. more. Okay, than, if, if uh, they Google your name, that they'll they'll come up with the address. I'm sure. You take care. Well, have you back on the show, but please do take care of yourself. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much.